in eight U.S. women will develop invasive breast cancer. That's according to breastcancer.org. The start of October also marks the beginning of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Riley Livingston talks with a breast cancer survivor about her story. For Susan Brooks, it started out as a routine annual mammogram, but this time something was different. They found a, a mass at that point, and then we started some testing from there. Brooks spent the next few weeks learning everything she could. I spent a lot of time reading about different types of breast cancer before I knew what type I had. I, I read up on all sorts of treatment options and surgery options and started researching doctors and surgeons, things like that. That research and tests led her to a choice, having a double mastectomy. Making that decision is very personal for, for everyone who, who goes through this. And, um, and for me, it just was the best way to get the most quick um, resolution, because I wasn't going to say easy, but quick resolution. Brooke says she spent a lot of time talking to people, other cancer patients, survivors, her family, and a counselor. One of the things that I thought that would be uh, best would be not just looking at uh, physical health, but also mental health. Um, I started talking with a counselor locally um, to kind of talk through things. Now that she is cancer free, she encourages others to take that first step and get tested. It's much better to go and to know and to take care of it early. Um, the earlier that you find cancer, the easier it is to treat. And um, there are several ways that you can get treatment that are not nearly as invasive as a double mastectomy. So um, go ahead and do it. I mean, you've got a long time to live. Brooks is looking to help families impacted by cancer. She will be working with Camp Kesum, a camp des designed to give kids with a parent diagnosed with cancer a place to come and connect with others.